Hi, welcome to another video. So, I saw this new tool called Conduit, which is a terminal-centric ID that's built around parallelizing coding tasks with agents across both local and cloud compute. It is built by the team at GitHub. It's not an official GitHub project, but the developers there have made it, and I found it quite useful. Basically, what it does is let you run different coding CLI agents in flexible tabs. It can be anything, including Claude Code, Copilot CLI, or Open Code as well. Each tab comes packed with a terminal where you can do anything, but mostly you'd want to run a CLI coding tool like Claude Code. You can then attach editor panes to that tab and even embedded browsers, which is kind of cool. You can spin up isolated agent sessions, synchronize multiple terminals to orchestrate commands, mix in cloud terminals next to local ones, and automate the whole thing through a CLI, which is quite awesome. If you remember the pain of juggling TMUX splits, VS Code tabs, and a bunch of terminals for background jobs, this feels like an integrated cockpit that you can shape exactly how you want. This is not open source, though, so keep that in mind as well. Here's a quick overview of what's inside. You've got bespoke dev environments with information-dense tabs where you can resize, collapse, clone, or lock pane layouts once they feel right. There's agent sessions that let you split new terminals or duplicate tabs as isolated sandboxes with automatic work tree management, which is pretty good. You get cloud terminals, so you can spin up remote compute and intermingle it with your local shells to push more tasks in parallel. Agent customizations means you can predefine the coding agents you use and recall them via slash commands in any terminal, which is kind of cool for consistency. There's a design mode with a visual surface for drag and drop pane management. Create or remove panes, move them across tabs, split panes into new tabs, and configure radial quick actions so building exactly the layout you want is fast. Focus mode lets you zoom a pane in and out with a mini map so you can shift from focused work to situational awareness without losing context. Tab preview and overview gives you live previews when hovering, plus a bird's eye view across multiple tabs, which is super helpful for keeping an eye on background tasks. Editor panes bring in a file explorer and text editor with real-time git status, diffs, and staging, commit, push, and pull workflows, making it easy to do quick edits without context switching. Quick actions let you do one-off tasks without disrupting layouts. The Conduit CLI allows you and your agents to design, interact with, and automate every part of the environment, terminals, browsers, you name it, which is quite awesome for scripting workflows. Synchronized panes let you mirror your typing across multiple terminals at once, so you can orchestrate multi-service commands in one go. Workspaces save and restore sets of tabs to jump in and out of projects easily. Customizable key bindings help you lock into your flow. And the command palette makes it easy to run global commands and spin up quick terminals with an MRU list. Now, let's check this out and see how well it works. To install it, you can get it from the releases section and just get it installed through there. Now, once you open it, you'll see this interface. Here, you have the terminal. Here you can easily run any command, and generally, you'd want to run something like Claude Code or Open Code through here, and it works pretty well. I'm not sure what kind of terminal emulator it uses, but it works pretty well. Anyway, at the bottom, you can see that you have some options. First of all, this is where you can add tabs. Tabs are basically new terminal windows where you can easily run different instances of any agent or command or whatever. 
You can also instantly create a tab with the Command plus T shortcut key. Also, it shows you a preview of the tab if you hover over it. You can also hit the View All option to see a preview of all tabs. After all this, we have the Command Palette. This can also be opened with Command Shift P as well. Here you get a ton of commands, like there's the Focus Mode. This removes a bit of clutter and minimizes the UI to focus on one terminal window. But you can still navigate between terminals with shortcuts and stuff like that. We also have Design Mode. This allows you to add different terminal panes in any position and customize a tab just like you want. Also, if you make a workspace and like it, then you can save it and then export it and then import it anywhere, and it is quite good for customized layouts. Now, another thing that you can configure is the agents to use. These are basically quick shortcuts for your agents. It comes built in with Copilot Agent, but you can add other ones here and just add the arguments and stuff like that as well. Once you do that, you can just run the Command plus P shortcut and it will give you the option to just enter your prompt and instantly send it to the configured agent that you have. You can change the agent with the slash command as well. Next ones are the option to split panes, which basically allows you to add new terminal windows in the same tab on the left, right, top, or bottom, which is quite good. You can also split the pane and create a new Git work tree if you have an active Git repo. Work trees are basically clones of your repo, and you can make changes in that clone. If you find it working well, then you can merge it back to the main folder or branch and make it work accordingly. So, that is also great. Another thing that is special here is the option of opening a browser within itself. So, you can just hit the Command plus L option and enter the URL to open, and it will get it opened in a browser in the tool itself, and you can use it. You can also add more browser or terminal panes in the view by using the given keyboard shortcuts as well. Another option is the Editor option, which allows you to get a pane of editor features to edit any files manually, and stuff like that as well. So, that's good. Another option is the Synchronize option that makes sure that all the terminal panes get the same keystrokes, which is quite good as well. Also, one more feature is Hyperterminal, which opens a quick terminal for your commands that doesn't take up a tab itself. So, there's that. You can also apparently make it spin up a cloud VM and use it, but I wasn't able to figure that out. Anyway, it is a pretty good option to use. It's very well made, it's quite snappy, and it's probably one of the best UIs for the tools that I've seen yet. This is actually really very good. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.